Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Please don't forget to comment, like, share and subscribe to this video. Today we're creating this gorgeous fat wing style dress. So let's begin. I'm using two meters of scuba fabric for this project. I've gone and folded the fabric in half um, by length and then half again by width. You can see that gives me four layers of fabric. The fabric I'm using is a stretchy fabric. So double check your layers of fabric and it should be folded as shown. Begin by marking your shoulder to waist measurement plus three inches. Then mark four inches for the neck width and one and a half inches for the neck depth. Carefully join the two together. Now from the waist point, mark the width of the blouse, which is your waist measurement, divided by four plus four inches. Mine was 11 and a half inches. Next, take your wrist measurement as shown. Mark half the wrist measurement as shown. From the wrist measurement, draw a five inch line. And from this point, draw a curve to connect these two points together. Once you're happy, you can carefully cut out the pattern. And this is how the top part of the dress should look. Now for the lower half of the dress, you need to have your fabric folded into four. So half and half again. Now use a stretchy skirt that you already have as your pattern. One that you know fits you well. Fold the skirt in half and position it on the fold as shown. Measure your desired length of the dress. Mine was 41 inches. Cut out the length. Next, cut around the skirt, leaving one inch seam allowance. And this is the lower half of your dress cut out. Take a scrap piece of fabric and cut out a strip or two for the belt. My strip width was approximately one and a half inches. I joined my two strips together. On the skirt part of the dress, I decided to add a couple of pleats. So choose which side you'd prefer to have the pleats on, pinch and pin the pleats into position. I added two pleats here, but later on in the video, I decided to add a third. Once you're happy, pin the sides of the skirt together. You'll notice one end of the skirt is slightly shorter. 
and that's because of the pleats you've added. We will correct this later. You should now have your blouse and your skirt part of the dress ready. We'll begin by stitching the sides of the blouse first. But before we do this, open up the wrist of the blouse, fold to hem the wrist part of the blouse. Once you've done this, you can fold it back in half and stitch the sides of the blouse. Repeat for the other side. And this is how your blouse should now look. Now take your skirt, part of the pattern, and open it up. Here I decided to add another pleat, as mentioned earlier. Pin the pleat into position. First, stitch the folds um, into position. And this is how they should look. Then pin the skirts right sides together. Carefully pin the sides together. And stitch the skirt together. This is how it should look. We now need to create gathers on the blouse to the width of the skirt. Once you've done adding the gathers, you need to pull the gathers to the waist of the skirt. Insert the blouse inside the skirt, right sides together, and pin around the waist. Once pinned, this is how it should look. Now carefully zigzag stitch the two together. I will double stitch, um, so stitch around twice, just to secure uh, the two in position. And this is how it should look. Now lay out your dress and carefully cut out the excess material as shown. The scuba fabric I use does not shed so I chose not to hem the dress or the neckline. Obviously you can choose to do that. Stitch the belt pieces together. Now fold the belt pieces together. Um, but insert a smaller piece of fabric with a pin on one end. 
We will stitch the top to secure the strip inside. Now carefully stitch the sides of the belt ensuring you do not catch the inside strip. This is a technique I use to help me turn the belt inside out. Once you're done, carefully push the pin out. Next, you need to pull the inside strip, which will in turn um, turn the belt inside out. It's quite a process, but eventually you'll get there. And this is how your belt should look. Carefully cut the excess strip as shown. And stitch close the end of the belt. This will complete the dress and here's the final look. I absolutely loved how this dress turned out. Um, I really hope you give it a go. Please let me know in the comment section what you think, any sewing suggestions. Thank you always for your support and I will see you next time.